So for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, I started racing pigeons this year and don't laugh, I absolutely loved it. Um, but for this next season, I'm gonna have even more birds and I figured seeing as I've got a team of racing pigeons there, what better than to get a team bus? And so I thought with the cost of living crisis and the extortionate cost of diesel, um, I'd better go for something that's quite cheap to run. It's gonna be used for pigeon racers really, isn't it? So it makes sense to get something like a classic car, something with a small engine, uh, something that doesn't cost me any road tax. Ins insurance would be really cheap and um, it could basically sit doing nothing for most of the time and also I can repair them myself if it's a, an old classic car. So we're on the hunt for a team bus and I've been looking online for the last couple of months uh, as to what it is that I want and I think a good vehicle for the um, team bus would be Morris Traveller but so far they're all too expensive or too far away or just running to the ground. £9,999. £15,000, £23,000 for a Morris Traveller. That's insane. So in the meantime, uh, a mate of mine says he's got a car that I can use um, that he doesn't use very often. And so it's a freebie to use. Uh, so I'm gonna go and have a look. He didn't tell me what it was, but um, uh, I do know he's got a Porsche, so you never know. Right, I'm here at James's. Maybe it's the Porsche. More likely it'll be maybe that Jeep. I know he's uh, only just got that, so go in and say hello anyway. Hello. Is he about? Right, I've just got a little, a little job to do first. So you just bear with me a second. So if you just hang on. Not the Jeep then. Sadly, it's not the Jeep either. So if you hang on there, I'll Ignore not be. Cars. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's a tricycle, not a bicycle. Oh mate, actually, you could get a couple of crates in there, a couple of crates. Well, take the crates. seats out. What engine is it? I don't know. <laughs> Petrol. <Is> it... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Get carpets going everywhere! <laughs> oh jeez. That adds to the character. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on the inside, isn't it? Right. It's got a choke, hasn't it? Yeah. I didn't realise that. That's why it's revving so much. That's all right. Complete nail, but actually quite fun, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, should we have a quick zip around in it? Yeah. For a test drive. Right. Can't see much. Should I go straight up there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes. Third, you might be. Up. No, it's not. It shouldn't be that hard. No, it shouldn't do it. That first. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just <laughs> us two fat <laughs> in it. It is, yeah. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> 200 kilos sat in it. <laughs> go left. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I fancy a trip down A1 in this. <laughs> I drive 40 miles for training. <laughs> Hi, 
<laughs> oh bloody hell yeah it's come off the rim yeah um did you put like eight psi in it something like that yeah <laughs> Steady. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that. It, um, I think it just hasn't been run for a while, and uh, obviously, I've got a puncture, so that's not ideal. So, we'll uh, park it up, get the wheel off, get the puncture sorted out, and then uh, maybe give it another try. Don't, uh, don't write it off just yet. Well, it's a bloody cold one at the moment. I think it's minus two degrees. Uh, my brother's got a lot of snow down where he is. The weather report says we might get some as well. So um, I kind of like it if we get a bit of snow. We haven't had any for quite a while. So you can see everything's really frosted up at the moment. All the... Um, the spider's webs are, are uh, iced over, which looks pretty cool. Um, that's all over the garden, uh, everywhere. It looks really good. So the birds' drinkers are frozen. What I should really do with these drinkers is empty them at night and then top them up again in the morning. Um, however, I'm rarely here um, when it's time when it would be a good time to empty them. So uh, and as it's so cold during the day anyway, they seem to be free freezing up in the middle of the day. It's just a quick tap like that, and then it's uh, then it's empty, so it's not too much of an inconvenience. Um, but yeah, it's uh, very very cold. The birds all seem fine. We scraped them out yesterday, and they've produced their droppings. So they're going to need another scrape out soon. Uh, Twenty-six little radiators, um, and they're amazing, really, aren't they? These birds that managed to stay warm in this weather um, when they were fine when it was 39 degrees and it was probably warmer in here because we've got a black roof uh, so when the sun's beating down on it it can get really quite hot they seem to be enjoying their uh, crates their uh, their boxes there you go that one's just shimmered in behind there still need to get the doors on and I, uh, the, the little doors and i still need to get the front on that one um, so yeah i'm hoping these will work quite well uh, looking forward to getting them breeding really Come on then, doofus. Now, I bought this uh, map from the Future Mapping Company. It's a map of the British Isles. And the reason I bought this one, uh, it was about 40 quid. Um, the reason I bought this was because it includes the Shetland Isles in uh in the map usually when you when you buy these they have the shetland isles as like a, a separate block here that's because they cut off there um and i wanted to see um where the shetland isles was in particular lerick uh in comparison to where we are uh, for a very particular reason rufus do you have to squeak the ball while i'm trying to record most annoying dog in the world as i was saying <clears throat> i bought this map because it includes uh, Lerick and the Shetland Isles, which I really wanted to uh, see. I wanted to visualise it. Obviously, you can see these maps on um, online, but I like to just be able to, to look at it from here. And so I, I bought this. I can see where we are here that I've circled and where uh, Lerick is, which is uh, important for uh, the reason that that's the ultimate goal. There's a North Road Championship Club. Their showcase race is from Lerick, and that's called the King's Cup. And it's been going for an awful long time and uh, that's something that I want to aim for obviously not this year but maybe in the next few years um, so I'm going to put this up on the wall and then we'll go through it okay and so the reason I did it is I wanted to be able to stand here and look at where uh, where my birds are going to be racing so this is us here I've circled us this is us in Ollerton or just outside of Ollerton and then what I've done is I've just marked all of the race points that we're likely to race from this year. I think they've been decided, but they've got to be voted on. 
um, and they're little crosses. And then in circles, these are the North Road Championship Club races. And um, these are like the big, the big events. And the North Road Championship Club has been going for ages. The biggest race of the North Road Championship Club is Lerick, and it's called the King's Cup, and it's been going for ages. Now, uh, that's from there, and we are all the way down here. And now, usually, the winners of that are on the East Coast, but they are split up into sections now. So I think we are just this side of the section, but I need to, to, to verify that. You can't enter... Um, the the north road championship club race from lerick um unless you're at least i think it's 450 miles from the pier at lerick and we're just inside that or just outside of that so we're uh, we can enter it's either 450 or 475 i'll check that okay so i've got all of the um race distances here on a sheet so this is where we are and the furthest we got i think in my first season was a cliff which is just there. And so apparently on the schedule this year for the Youngbirds will be Weatherby and then Harrogate and um, Darlington. That's as far as we got. And this is where we want to go. So you can see we're only a tiny way uh, there for the ultimate goal. And so this year we'll be sending our yearlings potentially to Dunbar, Perth, uh, Fraserburgh uh, and Thurzo. But we won't attempt uh, Lerick as, uh, year, as yearlings, I'll never get them back. So we're training them up anyway to get for these further races. Thought it might be worth me getting Darlow 94 out and just showing you that bird, uh, seeing as it's my best one so far. Uh, I don't think I've shown you properly uh, which bird it is. So I'm going to try and catch it now. I've got my peanuts. Oh, you're poking them through. Come on. There you go. Right, Darlow. Where are you? Come on, that's it. Here we go. Oh, you're covered in droppings. You're not looking your best, are you? Okay, so this is Darlow 94, and she's our uh, fed winner. And uh, you did really well for us, didn't you? Came second in the first ever race that I entered. Uh, out of 1,499 birds, which I was surprised about, definitely happy about, and then um, and then won the race for us, uh, the Federation, the last race of the year. So hopefully, so she's proved to be quite consistent. I thought it was a cock, um, which is why it's got the blue phone number ring on it. She feels a little bit underweight, actually, so I might have to... I say underweight, probably just right for flying, but it's very cold at the moment, so I think I'm going to give you some more, some more peanuts. What do you think? Well, yeah, this bird's been. Um, this bird did really well for us, and I'm hoping we'll put in some good performances um, going forwards for 2023. We shall see. Now we've got to decide who we're going to cross her with, which birds we're going to breed. Uh, that's the next job. So I'm going to start getting to work on that and working out which birds are um, going to be paired with which. Whom is to be paired with whom?